Good England. Evening. So, what's your thoughts tonight? Then? I think we'll win again tonight. We've got to keep winning, but it's boring football to watch. I have to turn it off after about 20 minutes of watching it. But keep winning, keep winning. That's all we can do. Yeah. I think tonight will be 2-1. Uh, OK. Well, let's hope you're right. You know? yeah. You've been right every week so far. Yeah, well, now we're off. Goal in, in between, isn't it? Come on, let's yeah. start. It's Thank been you. a good, good start. Not faulting. So, uh, what do you think about tonight? Uh? I think we'll win 2-0. It's a big game for us, so... Obviously, yeah. hoping for a win. Obviously. Yeah. Leicester big team, Sunderland big team. They've bought like a really big away allocation, so... Hoping for a win. It's a big win atmosphere, though. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't t got the team news yet, so I don't know what... No. They might have a few Started changes. 20 minutes, I think. Yeah. Hi Steve. Oh yeah, how you doing? Yeah, good, thanks. Good. So how do you think the season's going there? Well, it's not bad, is it? No. It's It'll good, do. A it 11 out of 12 so far. A reasonable start. A couple of cup wins, so yeah, very confident, very positive about the way we're playing. And it seems to me that the, uh, the players are very positive about the way we're playing as well. So, all in all, perfect start. What about tonight? Uh? Tonight, I think it'll be tough. I think, I think Sunderland might give it a go rather than park the bus like other teams. So I'm hoping for an open game, but that should be uh, playing to our hands a little bit. And I think we'll win 3-1 three, three maybe, something like that. Great. Let's hope so. Another three points. <laughs> yeah, record breaking. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think about tonight? Uh? Um, it's a free hit for us for Sunderland, isn't it? It's a free hit for Sunderland. Um, any, anything's a bonus. That's what yeah. we think. You're not doing too bad, are you? You're no, not doing too in bad. In the top no, six. Are you surprised how well Leicester are doing? Huh? Are we what? Are you surprised how well we're doing, Leicester? Ah, uh, not really. No. I think it's a, I think it, it's a good club with it, a good back, back staff and everything. And I really, do, and I think it's will go back up again. I, I think you've kept your team, haven't you? And yeah, most, I think most go back. So we just hope to see a nice stadium and. And a good match, and if we get anything out of it, then it's, it's a bonus, isn't it, really, for us? Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Tonight's game will go there. We hope to think we're going to win. My goodness me. Well, they're not doing bad, are they? No, they've done well, but they've, they've had a couple of losses in the last uh, in the last two defeats. Yeah, you know, it's letting them down. A bit like Swansea, really, who were on victory, but we knocked them out of the way. That's right. Yeah. Some people say it's boring football, but it's winning football. That's what well, it is. It is defensive football. We used to used to get to defend of ten all the time. Yeah. But we've got we got some good players. There's been some good good purchases. You know, the goalkeeper was good. I was pleased with him. He's done really well. Yeah. Good. Excellent. You pleased with how the season's gone? Then it's yeah, record breaker. Yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, you know, ninety percent stuff. It's fantastic. That's right, and we're... 2-1 today. 2-1. Mm -hmm. We're going to be both game today. Someone's going to give us a game. Well, they're six, aren't they? And they're doing quite well, yeah. And the other two teams that's going to give us a game is Bigglesworth and also... Who's the other one? Leeds. Leeds. Yeah. They're going to give us a game. But if we, if we can get all the maximum points between now and then... With it stays, we need the maximum points after Christmas when we've got four or five players missing. Yeah, I can see it being Leeds and Leicester and Leeds in the top two. Yeah, yeah. Ipswich could be there. Yeah, what about Wendy then? I think we'll win 2 0. I think we'll win 2 0. 2 0. <laughs> Number 18, Abdul Fatou. Number 
Football lost a true great with the passing of Sir Bobby Charlton, a hero of England's 1966 World Cup winning squad. He will forever be remembered as one of our country's finest ever players and as a wonderful ambassador for the English game around the globe. Join the CBC's minute of tonight's game. Please join us in a minute of applause as we join the football world in paying tribute to one of the game's greatest icons. This Friday, 27th of October, will mark five years since the tragic evening in which five cherished members of the Leicester City family were lost in a helicopter accident outside King Power Stadium. Our late chairman, Drew Bishai, was a man who made us all believe that anything is possible. With his passing, can Bishai to show the precious legacy of our world, left its head in the world, with the next of the the generations to come. We also remember and pay a lot of tribute to the lives of our experienced shopper, and Isabella Nekovitz, and staff members, and Shire, and Shire, and Howard Hill, and Howard Hill. Together, they are always in our hearts. We now invite the board of the to pay tribute to those we lost with a moment of applause which will end on the referee's decision. It's quite nice that a team have come to have a go. We've not been at our best though. I think we're carrying a couple of lads out there. Uh, you know, I think uh, hopefully we can take a good drink at half time and we can sort it out. We've created chances, but so are they. Uh, so, you know, I mean, that was a good save. He took the chance of the post. Yeah. yeah, it was. And they could have had a penalty just there, I think. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether it was. Or it was. Difficult to tell, but to be honest with you, I think the referee has been um, Sunderland's best player by, by a country mile. Shocker.